My metabolic rate's never been tested by a doctor or anybody medically. Even if I don't eat, I still don't lose weight. Next, we're tracing the cause of Carol Gerarda's excess weight. This belly dancing teacher's pretty sure her spare tire's not down to her sweet tooth. Even if I just live on water and fruit, I still don't lose weight. My metabolic rate's never been tested by a doctor or anybody medically. It's something which, you know, when you read magazines and you find out about things, that's the type of thing that I've sort of put in my own mind, thinking that, that that's what's causing the problem. She's given up trying to diet, convinced her metabolism is working against her. I'm not disciplined in what I eat at all. So if I have a feeling for something, I have to have what I want. I do love cream cakes. There can be an occasion when I can buy a pack of two or four and I'll eat three of those, you know. But then that's my dinner. I won't eat that on top of a meal. So I'm really, really hungry before a dance class. I will then maybe have a Mars bar or a Snickers bar or something like that just to quickly trough down and then think, oh, I'm going to burn this up in exercise anyway, you know. So Dispatches has arranged for her to undergo a series of tests to determine if it's her metabolic rate or her love of cream cakes that's the problem. She's not off to a good start, but will the next test prove her right? So this is going to tell us a lot of information about your metabolic rate whilst you're exercising. And you can see now that the amount of oxygen you're using is starting to rise because you're now performing some work. How are you feeling? Tired? Yeah, okay. So we're just going to stop the test there. Well done. The results are in. Is Carol's theory correct? You're in the 2,000, 2,300 kilocalorie range. It's normal for your size. Okay. So that means there's nothing wrong with the metabolic weight? Thank God. But Carol's not giving up. Can I just ask a question at this point? Does that mean that it's not just any 1,400 calories a day? but it's calories taken from vegetables or cheese or egg. Because I can tell you here and now that the calories I eat are probably about 1,500 a day. It's any calories. But it's in cake, calories possibly biscuits, possibly, and fruit. It's calories. But the error is in the calorie counting of the food. I, I hear exactly what you say, and I want to put it to the test, and I'm prepared to do exactly what you tell me, okay. to prove to you that it's not the amount of calories, it's what you eat, because the reason I'm saying that is because when I have not eaten for three days, I don't lose not even half a pound of water. If you actually get bogged down with thinking that if you eat nothing, you can't lose weight, you have to accept that that is a physical impossibility that will not be believed by any sensible person in the world. So exercise alone is not going to do it. It still has to be food restriction. Be very clear. <sighs> oh. They sort of said that the weight is down to other factors, not just metabolic rate. However, on the other hand, Dr. Abrahams still mentioned that the metabolic rate could be speeded up in order to lose more weight and that was purely by controlling it with a diet and exercise so in a way it comes back down to metabolism to me